Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, today I'm going to be doing a re-review of the Intermax Ostrock ATS case. Um, this is a mid-tower case. Uh, I did a review on this before, but it, I didn't think it was a good review. Um, it didn't show off really what this case has to offer, so I want to show off what this case has to offer for the price. So, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Right off the bat, here in the front, we have the mesh outline design. It's colored red. It looks really cool. Um, at the top there, you can see the logo, the Intermax logo, and at the bottom, you can see the Ostrog logo brandishing its crown. Uh, as you can see, there's room for lots of drives into your computer. You can put a lot of drives in here, and it looks pretty cool. It's pretty affordable. It's noticeable. It looks like you paid more for it for what you did, and it's a pretty nice looking case. Uh, here is the white trim outline, uh, looks pretty cool, that looks great. And the blue trim outline, it looks really good as well. At the top, we have one 3.0 USB port and three 2.0 USB ports, a microphone jack, headphone jack, big power button. On the right, we've got the power and battery indicator lights, and on the left, we have the reset button. Pretty nice looking top for price. Um, again, here on the very top of the case, we have the ventilation. On uh, the ventilation, which underneath you can put two 120 millimeters or two 140 millimeter fans. You can keep this case well ventilated, which it can hold up to seven fans. On the side here, we have a window for seeing inside. Ooh, pretty for when you want to make uh, your case dazzling for people to see inside. It's pretty cool. For the price, you can put um, two 120 millimeters or two 140 millimeters as well. Um, then here on the back, we have the the rear I/O opening, uh, the 120 millimeter fan that comes with it, seven slots. That's a lot of room. And on the bottom, we have the opening for whatever power supply you may want to use. Um, as far as the slots. When you open, when you take out those little slots, they're not reusable, but that's fine because there's always little cheap solutions for that. I mean, it would be cool if you could reuse them, but you can't. So when you take them out, there's little cheap solutions um, like these. Um, you can get these from Amazon for like eight bucks. It's not a big deal. You're not sacrificing much. It's only eight bucks, and who can't afford eight bucks? I mean, yeah. But here is the inside of the case. The inside of the case with the toolless design, you see those little switches, you can sw you can turn those little switches, take those little things off, and you can insert your drives right into your case, quick and easy access. Um, there's a removable case there, um, drive case there, you can, if you don't have room, you can put, uh, you know, uh, another drive in there. Uh, right here, we have the mounting brackets, they are pre-installed, and for a case at this price, pre-install mounting brackets, it's like, wow, okay, I'm getting a lot of cool features with a case that I really didn't pay that much for. It's really cool. Right here on the bottom, we have the anti-vibration pads for your power supply. You put your power supply in this, less vibration, quieter PC, can't beat that, not at all. Right here on the top, we have... Uh, inside top view again you can put two 120 millimeters or two 140 millimeters uh, in this case you cannot put an H100 into this case uh, it will not fit you will have conflicts with this case in trying to put an H100 in here um, because there won't be enough room for your motherboard uh, if you put an H100 uh, so if you wanted to put an H100 uh, you can do that you'd have to find other cooling solutions unfortunately but uh, that's the only disadvantage about this case. You can't put an H100 in here, but that's a small suffice for what this case has to offer. This case has a lot of really cool features. Here on the bottom, we have the removable. We have the removable tray uh, for when your power supply vents out the air and it gets a little dirty. You can just slide it right out, and uh, you can clean it. You put it back, clean it as many times as you like. Uh, again, you're getting a lot of cool features with this. PC case. 
Uh, here on the front, we have another view uh, showing the inside and room for another 120 millimeter fan. This case doesn't look cheap. Um, you get a really good quality case for the buck, and it's pretty nice. You can't beat it. So, pretty much, this is a pretty cool case, and my overall summary I got was you get three color meshes that's either the red, the blue, or the white mesh uh, outlining. It has tons of space, which means you can put a lot of stuff in here. Again, suffice you can't put an H100. Um, you can choose to either put a side window or no side window. It's up to you, but I think the side window is cool. Uh, can fit up to seven fans, which means you can keep this case pretty freaking cool. I like that. Uh, there's mounting brackets pre-installed. You can just throw your motherboard right in there and you're done. It looks great. I mean, look at it. It looks, it's a really good looking case and for the price, that's awesome. It's really affordable also and a really good looking case. So overall my review of this case is that this is a really really cool case I recommend this case to people who are trying to build on a budget uh, it's a really really fantastic case uh, it's what I went with because I'm building on a budget um, it's a pretty nice case I recommend it uh, comment subscribe uh, like this page uh, so pretty much that has been my review of the Intermax Ostrog ATX mid tower case. Uh, take care and thanks for watching.